This might be one of my favorite egg dishes right now that is not only a great breakfast, but is also made in about 15 minutes. It starts with one big potato, this weighs 250 gram. I won't bother peeling this, but instead I will take a brush and just clean it in my sink under cold water until all the dirty spots are gone. Now I will cut this potato into small cubes, and the best way to do that is to first cut off one big slice and use the surface now as a stable base. Next I will first cut this into four big planks, about one centimeter or half an inch thick. Then I will stack them, cut them into french fries, and now I can just cut them into cubes that will have roughly the same size. I will do the same with the outside pieces as well. Now, instead of cooking them raw in the pan, I will first add them into a bowl and microwave them. This will create a layer on the exterior of the potatoes that will then become crispy when they get fried in the pan. You can also cook them raw of course if you want, but then they will take a bit longer in the pan and you may end up ending with burnt potatoes. I will microwave them at 600 watts for 5 minutes. In the meantime, I will dice a small yellow onion, this weighs 70 gram, and then I will prepare 100 gram of ham. This is chicken ham and with 107 calories and 19 grams of protein, one of the best protein sources you can buy. I will cut these in the same shape as my potatoes. You can also add a red bell pepper or carrots to add some volume if you want, but I will make this without any other vegetables. I will also use three whole eggs for this. If you want to use egg whites only, that is fine, but I would really suggest to use at least one whole egg because the yolk will taste amazing in this recipe. Okay, let's get cooking. I will start with adding 5 gram of olive oil into a pan on medium high heat. This is a bit more than I usually will use, but you will need it. Now, add in the microwave potatoes and fry them for about 3 to 4 minutes under occasional stirring. You will see that they will slightly stick and that is from the outer layer of starch, so try to separate them with a spatula until they slowly get a brown color and start to become crispy. This is where I will add the onions and also the ham and keep frying under occasional stirring for another 3 minutes. If you see that there is not enough oil, you can also add one second of oil and keep mixing so everything gets covered. Keep frying until the onions start to become caramelized as well and then make three holes with your spatula to make space for the eggs. I will again add a tiny bit of oil into every hole and then crack in the eggs. If you want to use egg whites for less calories and more protein, I would suggest one whole egg with 100 gram of egg whites that works pretty good. Reduce the heat now to medium low to not burn the bottom, add a strong pinch of salt, freshly ground black pepper, I will also add some dashes of chili powder for some kick and now, very important, add 3 splashes, around 25 grams of soy sauce and immediately close the lid so the steam will be trapped. This will add a nice umami layer through the entire dish that will taste absolutely amazing. About 2-3 to three minutes later the eggs will be cooked, so switch off the heat, I will also add fresh cilantro on top, parsley will work as well, and there you go. A potato hash breakfast that comes in with 615 calories, 58 grams of carbs, 24 grams of fat and 45 grams of protein. This meal is so savory and delicious, I'm loving this right now. Click on this video to see how you can make more savory, high protein breakfast dishes and see you there.